Hey guys, welcome back to ESL TV for the ESL 1 Battlefield 4 Fall Season. We're underway with our cut number one, and we're getting into our round of 16 game. It's going to be Fnatic this time, up against MNG, who took their victory over AHA Gaming. And I'm going to drop this in in just a second, because I believe we are ready to go here. Let's see if I can hit all the right buttons this time. Jason, you're amazing. All right, so on the US side, it will be MNG. Over on the Chinese side, it will be Fnatic, the reigning champions from last season. And I wanted to go to this game specifically, specifically, specifically to see the current state in their team and see how well they're able to do here as we do obviously uh, kick this game off right now. The first map will be Dawnbreaker, second map will be Parasol Storm, and third map, if we do need it, will be on Operation Locker. And this map was chosen by MNG. And here we go. So Drunk's going to be going around towards the A-Flag just to back up and uh, keep that flag alive. The rest of the team just going to kind of sit really quiet. Just kind of wait for any pushes, trying to feel out their, uh, their opponents here. And again, like I said before, the reigning champions from last season Fnatic didn't drop a single map of playoffs. They won every single cup in first place. And now, to find out if they can do it yet again here. And, well, right now, off to a little bit of a start here. Obviously, a 2-1 to hold for MNG so far, but Fnatic finally making the move towards the B flag. Looks like Drunks and Mort will pick up a couple of kills right there and allow them to uh, secure this flag in just a few seconds. We'll be watching on the Dawak as well, where Bendy will be uh, currently residing. So for the next side, we have Drunks, Unfix, Valu, Morton, Too Easy. On the side of MNG, we have Frozen, we have Bendy, we have Rave, we have Reed, and we have Assault. Assault. That's that's weird. Um, assault. So, as you can see, for that, going to take the lead. Going to go for the 2-1 to one hold. They will get capped over towards A here for just a few seconds, but it looks like Valu going to be coming on the side, looking for maybe the recap. And well, we'll spot out the one man, we'll get the kill, and his teammates will, and that will uh, secure themselves this A flag here, as now uh, Frozen will get dropped in that one as well. But C, going to be picked up here by Assault, and MNG will still be down in a 2-1, to one, or 1-2 one, hold in favor of Fnatic here so far. But as you can see, tickets 136 to 131, not that big of a lead just yet. Obviously the game has just started, only a minute 30 in here in Fnatic. Well, if they're playing anything like they did last season, then I'm looking at probably a, a very... Not easy, but very quick 2-0 for them. But also you can see, you know, it's a little bit of rust within the team. You know, playing it a little bit different than they normally do. Not having the as same uh, success as they previously had. And see Unfix on Catwalk. Trying to get control of it here as he's being shot from, looks like a couple different directions. Just trying to heal up a little bit before he does go for the re-peak. And he will spot actually one man off to his right, but the nades will rain in. That'll take him down. And now MNG getting the 2-1 here. Doing the favorites. Definitely will be Fnatic in this matchup. A little bit surprised to see MG doing so well here so far when they're a newer team coming into this one. Didn't even they didn't make groups at all last season. I don't think I've seen any of them actually in the groups before throughout the uh, three seasons we've had so far. But so nice little kill coming from Dogwalk, pushing up into the uh, corridors here. Does have one map to his right. Too easy picks up one, picks up a second. Can he get the third one though? And he will lock it down. Too easy picking up a nice three frag right there. And that will allow him to maintain or at least pick up the two to one. Even Unfix getting the last kill on the man over towards uh, Catwalk here. But a little bit of back cut coming in. Rave looking for the uh, the A flag here. Gets a couple of respawns in on, in on him as well. And well, for, Kurt, or for right now, they do have the 2 to 1, but see, gonna be turned over, it looks like. And it looks like the A push will be thwarted uh, by MNG, stopping too easy and stopping drunks, or sorry, Mort, for making their way through here. But you can see this, look at that. Frozen, I don't know if there's a respawn or what, but it's right behind one man right there. Can he pick up the kill though? He's actually missing quite a few shots. And he knows exactly where he is in that outpost. If it actually might be Val here, he's already been able to pick up one kill, and right now Frozen is not having the best of shots so far. Looks like that man he was firing at has already rotated over. Got a little bit of a different angle against him here and Frozen again. Just not connected with any of his shots. He's being forced back. They know exactly where he is. Valo chasing him down. And I believe he does get cleaned up finally here. But he's bought a lot of time for this B5 to be picked up. And let's see. Raid will go down here by Drunks over at that B flag. So B, C now maintained. The back coming in yet again though. And Valo I believe has spotted out. And, well, stunning. Marksmanship by him right there, as you just saw. <laughs> but too easy comes in, helps clean that up here. And now Ray, the last man alive. Let's see where he's currently at. Over towards A currently. I'm watching this Horik spawn as uh, Pansy and I coined it. And now, the respawn's coming from Fnatic. They might go for a tri cap here. Drunk's getting behind the team. And spots him out. Mort picks up the kill, turns on the corner. Mort picks up a second. And well, Drunk's and Mort, a two man wrecking squad. 
does pick up this A5 here, but Frozen trying to have something to say about it. Picks up Drunks. He's got one more man to worry about. Nay gonna be coming in. Looks like it won't connect though. And now he's just gonna rush in, looking in a couple different directions here, looking for Mort. As he sees the nades coming from the side, he knows exactly where he is. He's waiting for him around the corner, it seems. And oh, he's going for the flat cap in the meantime, goes around the corner, looks for more, picks up the kill. In the meantime, B and C still maintained by Fnatic during all this. A little bit of a, a little run, a little jog coming in for Reed, trying to go for that C fog. In the meantime, too easy, trying to push towards A as he does get dropped here. But now unfixed, he knows C's being capped over. He's holding on to a catwalk here so far. And even B's being contested at the same height, uh, same time here. MNG's, honestly, putting up a pretty good show here so far. Again, against these reigning champions, two seasons running now for Fnatic. Let's see, we'll be picked back up. The Tri-Cap won't last that long. And Valu. Oof. I feel like he should have had that shot there, but... Either way, you can see Too Easy at 12 and 6. You can see Bendy at 10 and 9 here currently for his team. And Mark kind of taking his time. Coming around from the side, helping support uh, Valu. I believe that was right there. Uh, up inside the buildings, but still, 2 to one's being maintained here, and I mean, this was MNG's choice, so you can see, you know, that if they're going to choose a map like this, they're confident in it. And it's almost a tight score here in this first half alone. Honestly, didn't expect the game to be this close so far, but I guess it kind of shows either MNG playing that well, or Fnatic, or just that rusty, and well, either way, Fnatic definitely need to step it up here, or they're going to be a little bit in trouble. Uh, in this best of three, and maybe even later down the line, uh, you know, if they make it into tomorrow's games, or obviously the, the next match, which will be the uh, quarterfinals. Either way, Tricap coming in. Won't be maintained that long, but Drunks will come in to Cap B. A being pushed on as well here, Frozen. Looks like he will just back away, though. Not go down from the backside. Look for Drunks. I believe it was Cap and B. Actually, it was Mort he got the kill on. And, well, they'll trade A for B. In the meantime, they're going to lose out in C as well, so a little bit of a Back and forth game here, as you can see, 67 to 61 in tickets. And look at this respawn coming in by MNG, coming in from the side here. Don't really expect this too many times as Valu. We'll be able to secure the kill into him and we'll be able to maintain this A hold. So now Frozen all by himself, maybe went for a respawn or two. Gets dropped though. He does have one respawn, but it'd be Reed. He's trying to help defend this one and, well, pff, Valu doesn't care about that. Picks up the kills. He got three in the end. Well, killed one guy twice, but killed three people in total. To give them a little bit of a lead now. 64 to 48. B will be picked up for Fnatic. A will be held on to. And now M and G. I think it's like both these teams haven't gotten into a situation where they're comfortable with what they're holding. There's always, you know, a couple of flags in flux this entire time here. And whatever strategy M is using, it's it's working pretty well. It's frozen just kind of stuck here and Let's push from the backside. Unfix picks up two big kills. And that will now be a well, Assault, Reeve, and Bendy, the last three live for their team as they get the respawns in towards that C5. But now Fnatic, they finally got the hold they won, it seems. They're still sitting pretty at 64 tickets. They haven't dropped a single one in about a minute's time here. And just as I say that, when it does go down, it looks like that will finally be broken. But still, lead, they're building up. MG, they're, they're struggling to break through this defense, this shield, this brick wall. That Fnatic had kind of become here with this kind of hold, and again, last man standing for Reeve, goes down, that's a skull squad wipe, that's going to be five tickets now coming off, not to mention potential tri kept coming in here, and Fnatic wants to push for it, but the respawns, the random ones are even coming in towards the C5, they haven't really crossed that barrier, but with Tweezy pushed up this far, it actually might have been enough for the back spawns to come in, either way, he's not going down without a fight here, he's currently at 21 and 7 in this one. And MNG are running out of time here, Valu can stop this push, it's going to be a huge for him, and he will get one, he knows the second one's coming up. And looks like he might go for the draw. Oh, he spots him. Oh, seven tickets left to go here. He knows exactly where he is. He's going to run straight for him here. Oh, he sees even three of them right there. But he misses the first one. He finally does pick up the cone to Bendy. He's going to buy a little bit of time here. He sees two tickets left to go. He's just going to back away. And with that last ticket remaining, Fnatic will come out with a 60-ticket lead here at the end of this first half. And considering... Well, considering they had 64 tickets and only lost four in about two and a half minutes' time, that kind of says something about their team right now. And you can see 21 and 8 for too easy. 13 and 7 for drunks. 12 and 17, unfortunately, for Bendy right there. And 9 and 20 for Reed. Not having the best of games, but they still took it pretty close. I'll, I'll say, I mean, for the majority of that game, it was very, 
you know, head to head, it was very even. But at the end, it just seemed like Fnatic finally got the hold they wanted. But one thing I will say, I'm amazed that Drunks actually didn't nade himself because typically he does it every game. He kills himself with a grenade. Uh, it's always on accident, but it just kind of shows how bad he is as a player. And I, I know he's a, uh, I know he has some friends watching right now, so I'm just making fun of him. It's not nothing too serious, but either way, Fnatic doing a great job. And not the lead I was expecting. But still, it's nice to see some other teams can really kind of, you know, catch up to where Fnatic was. Fnatic were just so dominating in this last season that you'd hate to see them just kind of walk over everyone yet again here. So obviously teams like Epsilon, Dinitas, uh, Gamers Connection, uh, Meet Your Makers, you know, they've been around almost every single season here. Or have been around every single season. But ever since the spring season, Fnatic has just been the dominating team. And no one's really been in, has really been able to catch up to them here. So obviously going to be swapping sides on the second half. Looks like Fnatic will be over on the U.S. side. And MNG over on the Chinese side. And let's see how this one starts. Obviously you saw Fnatic on the Chinese side play it safe. You know, they sat back. They didn't rush into anything right off the bat. I'm curious to see what MNG is going to do as their initial start. It, it seemed like Fnatic just couldn't really get the read. Uh, onto MNG in the beginning. But they eventually did figure out exactly how they were playing. And we're able to finally counter that after a little bit of time here. And you can see, Assault will go back towards A. And that's the team going to rush over towards this B flag here. So let's see how this one breaks off. Two so drunks lead the charge for his team. Nade's going to be raining in. A couple of shots being traded here or there. It looks like they do have the better position here. So he's actually going to push up B. Really aggressive. Picks up one kill with the frag grenade. And that will be actually, you know, sorry, two kills with the frag grenade that he got. And that allows him to push right back out. So B picked up. C held as well. And Drunks just getting the right place at the right time. That's now three fracture. I'm looking for the fourth with the pistol. Nade can be thrown in as well because, you know, why not? And he was trying to hold him. The nade won't connect, though. Now will Drunks finally be going down, but it doesn't matter. The damage has been done. They've got the early 2-1. to one. However, B being kept over. C being kept over as well. Now MNG, are they biting off too much to, uh, more than they can chew? Unfixed. We'll get the uh, respawn in towards the back side of A. We'll secure that. B will be cleaned up as well, it seems. There's only one man there to defend against. It's going to be frozen. And, well, they will trade C and B for A and B. And this is exactly where Fnatic were just kind of snowballing their game before at this point. So let's see. MNG, what can they do a little bit different? Remember, if they drop those 60 tickets, they will have lost the first map, and that means we'll be going over to Parasol Storm with Fnatic having a one-map lead here, and not too easy. Had a fantastic first half. Now he's 0-1 currently, more at 4-1. Generally a quiet player for his team, having a pretty strong game here so far, and even more being the aggressive player, which he typically never is. He's pushed up towards C. I mean, he did get taken out eventually, but Junk's able to support him. They're even looking for a little bit of a tri cap here. They have to be careful. The back spawns at A, but look at this. You have a two-man squad there with Valu and Unfix to clean that one up. And the respawns are coming in still towards C in the meantime here. As Drunk still has a high ground on him. And look at that. He's just cutting off like one complete direction. Every time they come up this way, he's just going to get free kills onto him. Oh, shot from the backside. Looks like he will still uh, stay alive. But look at this. I mean, he's forcing three, four people to look in this direction every time. And when they push up for anything uh, else, they kind of just get stopped. You're too easy. Plus, two people won't get either of them. Well, at least get the assist, though, as Valo does clean up one. So, A going to be capped over, it looks like. B in the process by Reed. And you can see he's not in the best of positions right now. Doesn't have the best of cover either. Fag will be halted. He knows there's someone here. Oh, he spots that one man. Doesn't get the shot, though. Spots one a second time. And he will be dropped by Drunks, I believe that was. Now, last man in the squad is going to be Assault C and B picked up now. And it seems like Fnatic has maybe finally gotten that little bit of a stride that they were looking for. As they are just not letting MNG get any control in this game. Yeah, they've lost 11 tickets total compared to the 60. And just Fnatic, I feel like they're just walking over MNG every time they push in towards a flag. And MNG, they've proven that they can, you know, win out these firefights every once in a while. But they haven't been able to hold, hold on to any of these flags when they really matter. And Assault. Well, he's trying to hold on. He's trying to give a little bit of cover towards that B flag here. Has a man to his left. And too easy does secure that kill and has to shut him down. So Frozen now. Honestly looking exactly where Too easy just was. And Too easy, I believe, did go down. If I'm not mistaken. And Unfix just kind of waiting for the rotate. 
Playing it smart, went a couple respawns, gets the first kill from the guy jumping off dog walk. Dog walk, sorry. And we'll look for the second one as well as he has his teammate there from the side to help him out. Unfix picks up a second. We don't want to shoot his teammate there, even look for a third. And they will practically clean them all up. I mean, if you look at this, every time MG push into a flag, they almost get fully squad wiped, or they do, in fact, get fully squad wiped. Like, they're just not having an easy time here of, of winning any of these duels at this point. And, you know, Unfix at 6 and 2, Valo 8 and 3, Mort 6 and 4, Tweezy 5 and 4. I believe Drunk's at 5 and 3. They're just buying some time here. Now Valo gonna be up in a 1v1. It's taken down by Bendy. Gets the better of him. So A should be picked up. C. Oh, Drunk's. <laughs> He's waiting for that man to peek. You know, he hears him. He knows exactly where he is. It looks like he will start to finally push up here. He spots out his feet. Spots out his head. Loses the firefight, though. And now, MNG getting a hold of a 2 on 1. What is he doing? So this is their chance. They have five tickets left to work with here. If they drop below 60, remember, that will be the end of the first or the uh, first map. And we'll be going to the second map on Paris of Storm. They like, obviously have a lot of time to work with here, so it's not like they're in a huge hurry to close this game out. But it's looking almost impossible for the side of MNG. If they hold on this 2v1, or this 2-for-1, uh, and maintain it, they can chip away at a lot of tickets. But to take away 107 still, and not lose out on five people, it's going to be very difficult. But they're starting Frozen. Able to help pick up a couple of kills here. Bendy as well gets one on the unfixed. Otherwise, unfortunately, does get taken down. And Fnatic can just continue to throw these people at these flags. And Drunk's even getting the uh, respawn towards the C flag. Knows it's being capped over. Spots up the man. Loses the 1v1. And the rest of the Fnatic grouped up as four here, just pushing through, picking up kills. And well, right now, you can't even really afford to spawn in anymore at this point. And this should be Fnatic securing themselves this first map victory. And now uh, going over Fnatic's choice, a Parasol Storm here in just a few seconds. We're going to find out if MNG can do anything about it here. And maybe stop them on well, a map that Fnatic wants to play, which is always difficult. Yeah, there we go. So, switching over to the next map. Obviously, let me know in, uh, let me know in chat, guys, who you guys think is going to win. I feel like most of you out there will say Fnatic, though. They've been playing, uh, well, interestingly. Wasn't a clean victory, really, for them, but they really picked it up. Yes, this is PC, guys. I am reading Twitch chat. Oh, so we're only giving 75 points for the winner? I thought the winner takes 100. That's what it was last season, unless we changed it. I did not know that. Hmm. Let me ask, because now I'm curious. I thought it was 100. Hmm. I'll see you here in just a second. Just waiting for the teams to ready up so we can get back into the game here. As I'm just keeping an eye on them. Let's see if they're not live just yet. Yeah, just waiting for uh, MNG to finish loading in. And now they are ready. So we'll be dropping back in just a second. So I'll just keep my eyes on Twitch chat in the meantime. Um to see the answer to that one. <laughs> friend of mine, his team won five bucks at the Atlanta land. Nice, nice. I, I hope that wasn't first place. All right, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Getting into our second map here. Of our round of 16 Fnatic over on the US side and we'll have MNG over on the Chinese side here and I'll tell you this, this is going to be a tough game here for MNG Parents of Storm chosen by Fnatic so you know that they're prepared for it you know this is a map that they want I'm going to find out if uh, well, they can do something and catch off guard here we see Bendy with the uh, engineer class so I'm expecting to take down quite a few walls here Let's see how they do start this off. Nine seconds to go. And right now, MNG down one map. We could see Fnatic advancing into the round of eight. Well, the quarterfinals, depends on how you want to call it. With uh, much ease. Obviously, didn't have to play in the round of 32 first. And here we go. A little bit of a 3-2 split coming in. And Fnatic sending two men. Eh, two and a half men. Let's just call this guy. these two guys over here a half. 
towards A. And the first frag will come in. Ray picks up uh, Mort. Push still coming in. As you see, there's still one man waiting for him just around the corner. There's even a fight breaking out over towards the apartment buildings as well as that will be, I think, Fnatic winning that one out. And you can still see A is still being contested. And he spots him out on top of the, uh, the crates here, but... I'm not picking up the kill here just yet. I believe that's, uh, I believe that's unfixed. Yeah, definitely unfixed. Just waiting for the peek around the corner. He knows he's there. He, like, we can see on the screen exactly where he is. He sees the doors open and shutting. And well, he's capping A over now as well. Hmm, no, it actually went over towards uh, MNG. Sorry, I, I thought he was capping himself, but he's still just buying some time, waiting for someone to rotate in to help out maybe. He sees two men spawned in there. Non fix on a 1v2. So what's up, the man going towards Trench? You know, drop down, waiting for him to peek. But even though he hasn't capped it over, he's still buying time. He's committing two people over towards the side. They've capped C, they've capped B. And Sally's actually picking up nice two frags over towards the uh, C flag. We'll be able to uh, secure that one. B or A being kept over as well. It's a tri cap coming in. And Fnatic getting the early strong star here. He Unfix again. He played it very slow, very calm. But in the end, he comes out ahead. How does team come in to help rotate and pick up the kills? So here we go. Here comes a push in towards the C flag. I don't believe too easy. He's going to spot it out just yet here. But Valo knows it's happening. Spots out one. Gets that one. Look for the second one as well. But he can't get Reed right down right there in that 1v2. And Miltmort won't have any luck either. So C will be picked up here in just a few seconds. But still. Nice 2v1. Or 2 4 1. And looking at this B flag to maintain here. And you can see Trunks, nice position by him with more, a little bit of teamwork, able to secure a kill. Nate's raining in, but they will back away. Again, there's only one man defending C. It looks like uh, Vala will pick up the frag and we'll be able to cap it over here in just a few seconds. In the meantime, just kind of giving a little bit of attention towards the uh, single building and A being capped over here slowly by MNG. So, I even see a track cap just for a split second or two. Nah, we won't see that. It'll still just be a two for one. But for that, off to a strong start again. 38 ticket advantage for him. And you can see Fnatic, they're not even trying to destroy the buildings, which is kind of weird. They're, they're letting MNG just destroy everything. And they're just like, all right, well, you can keep wasting time destroying buildings. We'll just spend our time capping over points, picking up kills. As you can see, it's 19, 18, sorry, to 10. And Violet, 6 and 1 currently. And Junks, easy work for him onto Frozen. Just as I said, that he does get shot. It always seems to happen. I always say, oh, yeah, you know, picks up a nice 1v1, and then they die a second later. It's a caster curse. Not too easy, giving a little bit of attention towards A. Spots out one man. Just trails him a little bit too slow right there. And I'm trying to watch from the high ground here. Spots out two. At least to be able to help secure one. It will be dropped out quickly thereafter. But look how look how the, the side of MG are trying to take B. They're, they're pushing in from you know this side. And they're pushing in from the building, so it's making it pretty easy for Fnatic to just kind of maintain a little bit of a, a line, def uh, line defense here. As you can see, they're able to push right back in, but Mark picks up one, gets dropped by the fire grenade, and even, uh, actually, he does get dropped by it, but he kills his teammate. Reed goes down from it, and that's going to be B maintained for a little bit longer. In the meantime, A must be capped over, but it was stopped here by this man. I can't see who it is, unfortunately. I wish it would show me. Uh, 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 rave. Okay, it was Rave. I was a little bit slow to see that. But again, push coming in on the C here. Too easy waiting for it. Well, at least if anything, he'll get the information over his team, knowing exactly where they're coming from. And MNG are really struggling to get into any of these flags. Like, yeah, they can pick up one, but they're down almost 100 tickets here. And we're only four minutes into this map. More at 7-3, Drunks 9-3. Looks like they will finally cap over. So, oh, look at this man coming from behind. If only Bendy went towards C right now, he'd be able to pick up a couple of kills and maintain this flag hold. And he was supposed to the first man coming in. Looks like the uh, frag grenade will be enough. But of course, as we can see, there's still one man off to the side here. And it's Unfixed, who I believe has cleaned up everyone at the flag. Except uh, Bendy, who has now started to come up from the uh, south side. But either way, you can't let one man like that just take over a, a flag. And uh, Unfixed just, just watching the feet right there, Frozen. I'm sorry, I've, uh, actually, I didn't see who that was. Either way. Great hold by him and spots the last one come for the backs of the headshot coming in with the compact 45. And right now, Fnatic, I mean, they are just not dying. They're not losing anything here. And 
I mean, A is being kept over. They're picking it up. They've maintained C. They have B. They have the tri cap yet again here just a split second. Frozen just trying to stay alive here. Maybe a spot for his team to spawn in on. But he's taken down eventually by too easy. And so does his teammate right after. So, I know MNG down to 27 tickets. They're now down 100 tickets so far in this first half. And this is definitely the Fnatic that I was expecting to show up today. This is definitely the Fnatic that won last season. And is trying to defend well, a two season in a row title. too easy. He will die. But again, every time someone dies on Fnatic's side, you, you immediately see in the top right Fnatic respawn. Yeah, we see blue killing red. And if you look at this, 43 to 24 in kills, 26 in kills. It's just, it's so one-sided here so far, and I don't know, 16 tickets left to go. It looks like B will be going to the hands of M and G here in just a second. But you can see a lot of them, you know, using the uh, ace. So you show through Ace-23, 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 Ace-23. But on Fnatic's side, you see the Ace-23, 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 Ace-23. And Valu probably has an Ace-23. So <laughs> both teams are really using uh, one gun here. Obviously, the Ace does offer you, you know, some decent long range, decent close range, has a nice, uh, has nice fire speed. Let's see, B and will be cleared. M and G will secure that. And we'll pick up A as well, so they, well, they won't get a tri cap, but they'll at least pick up a two for one. And the question is, how long can they maintain this? How long can they hold on to it? And look at that, four kills coming in on their side. So that does help out. And who's this man? Drunk's pushed up very, very close into this B flag. It's 90 to six tickets. Looks like he will get right on top of it here. And, and obviously, every death that comes in is it's one step further. That Fnac are getting closer and closer. Image are getting farther and farther away from being able to pull this back in the second half. And Drunks here just chases this man down, sprays him through the wall. And even pick up a second. Nope, just gets the assist with the uh, pistol there. And either way, now one ticket remaining. They can't respawn him. And Fnatic, 94 tickets in, in the first half. And now, if MNG drop below 94, their well, their first uh, cup will come to an end. And you know, obviously, it was well played by them in the first map. But right there, I mean. You can see they're not as prepared for Parasol Storm as they clearly are for um, Dawnbreaker. Let's see, obviously they, they can't come back. You can see 12 and 7 for Too Easy, 11 and 7 for Valu, 12 and 5 for Mort, Drunks at 14 and 5, and Unfixed at 9 and 6. Didn't even break 10 kills. Worst player ever. <laughs> And you know, Reed, he didn't have the best of games on Dawnbreaker, but on Parasol Storm, he's really stepped up. You know, he got a lot more kills, 12 and 11. I believe he was like 5 and 20 in the last one, in the, uh, was it end of the second half? Like, or no, it was end of the first half. Um, he did not have a good game there, but he's definitely stepped it up here on Parasol Storm. I guess he's feeling a little bit more comfortable. But now I'm going to be swapping sides here, guys. This could be potentially the last half of our round of 16 game. Of course, we will be going into one more best of three in the round of eight. And then tomorrow at 7 p.m. CEST, same time we started today, we will have our two semifinals and grand finals. Of course, all best of threes there. So let me see Twitch chat, see what you guys are up to saying. Actually, I just realized there is a one minute delay on the stream, by the way, guys, so... Hmm. Not a lot to talk about in chat. Well, it is a minute behind, so I can understand. All right, so here we go. Kicking off the second half here, Fnac over on the Chinese side. And MNG over on the US side. And let's see how this one goes here, as my camera work is very shoddy. Well, if they want to be able to win this one, they need to be able to get an early hold here, early... Uh, Two cap and well, right now you can see drugs picking up two defending that B flag. And Ray forced to go for a respawn here and well, two to one for Fnatic. Tickets are just bleeding away. Remember, if they drop below 94 for MNG, that would be Fnatic taking this second map and winning 2-0. And right now. MNG are taking the time, but 
they honestly don't have that much time to work with. They have about four tickets left to go. They're going to get C. They're going to lose A, though. But they will pick up B in the meantime here. So they're able to keep a 2v1 or 2 for 1. If Reed can survive, I guess, for a little bit longer. This he's being flanked from a couple different directions here. He's got to be very careful. And, well, unfortunately, he will be dropped. Here, Drugs picks up that kill with the S3R. Hmm. Uh, using his pistol to pick up a couple of kills. Go string. Laser sight, muzzle break. It's almost out of ammo on it as well. That shows how much he was using it here. But the tricap, Fnatic coming in big here. And honestly, they don't really need to hold this too much. All they need to do is play this like TDM for themselves. Because at this point, you know, it's going to be impossible to come back from this. Right now, MNG need to pick up a 2-1 to one and just not lose anyone. They need to win these firefights. They need to get revives in um, before they need to use respawns. There we go. 120 tickets left to go. Well, technically like 30. And Fnatic looks like they will maintain the 2 for 1. Like, I, I don't see how MNG can come back from this at this point. They need to get something going, but they're always the man down, I feel like, whenever they get the respawns in. You can see they're finally all alive, but watch how long it lasts. Okay, there goes one. Let's see. There goes another. There goes another. Like, that's that's how quick they keep down. Like, yeah, it's not super fast, but the thing is, they're not really able to push this 5 at this point to really pull off the strategy here. Not to mention, C's being capped over. He could see a tri-cap here in just a few seconds. The nade going to be raining in here. And it's right behind Assault, who... Well, doesn't even get hit by it at all here. But now, 100 tickets, 99. And they are just dripping away here. Every respawn they're forced to use should be it. And well, right now, with that, with three people now dead, honestly, can't get the revise. They don't have the 2-1. to one, And that will be here. Fnatic going to advance on into the quarterfinals here. I, I, I think... Probably all of us mostly expected that, but then again, it wasn't the smoothest of victories for him. It took him a little bit of time to really get going on Dawnbreaker uh, to really get to where they could obviously, you know, pull out that victory. And just making sure, yeah, they're not saying GG. I think they went for the admin message, um, the official word on it. Pretty sure it was 94. Okay, now I'm just going to alt tab out just to make sure. Okay, no, the GG's have been called. All right, so guys, that's going to be it for our second game of the day. Um, for that, I could take the win over MNG. Sorry, I just want to make sure. You know, I didn't want to obviously get the wrong info and then kind of just have to be like, oh, no, we have to come back because the game's not over yet. But we had Infamous take a 2-0 victory. I'll just pop us into this really quickly just so you can show you guys at home uh, exactly what I'm looking at. We have Infamous taking a 2-0 victory over Dinitas. Fnatic taking a 2-0 victory over MNG. Epsilon 2-0 victory over My Revenge. Planet Key and YDK still playing. Uh, the rest of the team's still playing as well. Gamers Connection taking a 2-0 over Animate. A lot of 2-0s. I'm not sure exactly what game we'll be going into next. Um, I'm hearing good things about Elevate, so if they win, maybe we'll go to the Meet Your Makers if they win as well, Elevate game. Not sure just yet, guys, but obviously we're going to go a quick little break here. When we come back, we'll be kicking off our third and final game of the night, and then tomorrow, of course, we will have the two semifinals and the grand finals for you to determine who wins the 500 euros and obviously wins the 100 points to kick off the fall season. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 